welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fantastic day once again the weather's absolutely beautiful out i've had a lot of questions about the rivelator it just so happens that i'm cooking ribs today now normally i have um, a bar that is set up just for the rivelator but i've been trying all kinds of things with um with the master built tried some vegetables and in, in a vegetable basket like this and a couple other little things um anyway I, uh, I've got to set it up, so I thought I'd show you. You guys have asked, so here we go. I already kind of set it together, um, but I did that because I wanted to take a measurement and I didn't have the actual measurements. And so here goes. From my left side, now this is the side over here. This is the side that actually plugs into um, the rotisserie motor. I have it right at eight inches. Now that may vary on yours, depending on how, how big your grill is, but on the 1050, I'm going eight inches on the Revelator. And from the right, right hand side to the edge is four and a quarter inches. Okay, that leaves right in between, right at 18 inches. Okay, the reason that's important is you really want these baskets to be able to swing, and you also need to be able to get them out. Okay, so let me just walk through real quickly on how I set this up. Now I'm doing it in the angle that I would be in the grill. So this is the right hand side, this is the left hand side. And as we know, I like to use a counterbalance and I'll talk about this counterbalance in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this right hand side because I drop a towel. So I'll just remove this right hand side, kind of show you the setup. It's not much to it. Now mine's a little different than others i have an older version this one's probably about six or seven years old maybe older than that um, anyway mine has flat brackets and i think the newer ones are actually piped brackets and this one looks like it's a little tweaked and bent a little Brr, i'm not that strong anyway this is what i like to do obviously i like to set two trays down slide one end in get it into position right and then you can measure the bars and set it up. The reason I like that is because I really want this to be as square as it can, because it can actually move on the end of this bar a little. Anyhow, like I said, right at 18 inches. There we go, that's about it. It doesn't have to be exact, just close enough. And again, I like, I like to keep it square on the table using these brackets, because these brackets are gonna keep you a lot square than the rest. Then your bracket comes, or your next uh, plate comes in, and you're right in place, okay? Perfect stuff, easy to go. Now, again, I use the counterweight. We'll talk about this counterweight for a second. Again, I, talk, I use this style of counterweight. Now, this enables me to put it anywhere on the bar that I want. And so I'm gonna slide it in the bar and I'm really trying to get it in place of this missing tray. I've only got three racks of ribs and so I'm only gonna use three racks. No need to clean another rack. A pair of quick pliers tightens down the weight and away you go. There's really no difference if it's right up against the bar right here on the end. Now physics would tell you it is, so I typically keep it right about three quarters of the way or all the way down here on the end. Don't forget your bracket for sliding into your inside bracket. Now, if you guys buy the new master built, you'll notice it has a point on this end. And so there's no need for this bracket. It's pretty interesting. I'm not gonna buy that one just because mine's already set up for this configuration, but I really do like the design. It looks like it's gonna be really good. Now, again, with a 3 16 inch um, Allen key, just one quick little tight here. So reach across, you and the camera. There you go, guys. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to take you over here to the grill. I'm going to throw some ribs on. Actually, take you over to the grill, throw some ribs on, and uh, we'll be good, good to go for the day. All right, here we are at the grill. It's heated up and preheated. I'm going to slide it in. Right down. It's a little adjustment. Okay, there we go, guys. To spray a little Pam. Normally have the avocado. 
this just helps for cleaning up later. Okay, our motor is kicking and going. We're set up. Or bring some ribs over. We'll stop it. We'll be able to get two racks on here. Woo, look at that. Okay. Just like that, I ruined a shirt. <laughs> Okay, guys. Barbecue Beer Brothers, I really want to say thank you for all your subscriptions, your great comments, and just all around just being great. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. The Revelator's on, ribs are going. We're going to get some pool time, check some things out. But you know what? You guys are all well connected. What do, you, what do you think about this? How do I enclose that? Or what do they sell that I can put around that TV to make it weatherproof? I'm tired of taking in and out. You know, we're gonna throw some golf on, sit in the pool, have a cold beer, have some rib dinner. I just got some more cherry going. And hopefully you guys can see that. If I can zoom in down there. Got to lose battery. All right. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Hopefully you can see that thing smoking. You get a nice little smoke flavor. Look at these ribs, guys. That's just perfect. There's no sauce. That's just juice. That. That's a bite you want right there. All right, boys. Let's get in there. Belly and all. We have to have our bellies in <laughs> Go get a bite, get a bite. Oh, yeah. There's paper towels right there. Griffin, what do you think? It's tender. It's really good. That's good, yeah. Deegan, con con? Mm. Mom? Uh huh. Delicious. Hot. Everybody's like, oh finger God. hot. All right. I'm still upside down. Not quite sure. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Ribbo later. Perfect. Ribs? I'm sure they're good. Mm hmm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. God bless you. Oh, it's so hot. I can hold it. Those are good. I never liked ribs, but these are.